Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, so, all right. Uh, y'all are going to have to help me out on this one. This is the wingover, which I have received several requests for. Uh, and I'm all, I've often been told that wingovers are very difficult to do. Um, but this only took me about seven minutes from start to finish. So I really don't know if I'm doing something wrong, if this is not exactly what you're looking for, or uh, if it was just easier than I expected it to be. Because it, it definitely looks pretty good to me. I compared it to some on-ride footage of, say, uh, Batman, Six Flags Great Adventure, any of the clones, as well as some pictures. And it looks pretty good to me. So, and it definitely has that snap that everyone is talking about. Maybe a little bit tall, maybe for a wing over, but in terms of uh, the roll right here and so forth, it really looked good. Uh, and if we take a ride on it real fast, you'll see it definitely has the snap. So let's just go up into it. And you see it's got the snap that everyone is looking for. Uh, I know that that's the main thing that people really love, especially on older B&Ms. They love that snap. So that's in here. So if I'm not getting what you want me to do, just let me know. Or if, if I'm misunderstanding, just let me know. But otherwise, I think I've recreated the wing over uh, like you asked. So here we go. Let's just talk quickly about the graph. Uh, so you see... Uh, it's, it's pretty much a standard corkscrew. The one thing I noticed about the wingover when I was looking at the pictures, particularly from this angle, was the sort of way that the track is going up here. I think I could most likely have this coming up a little bit more like this. Uh, but overall, it looks pretty good. So the way I achieved this was fairly simple, of course. As always, I just did the roll here using a quartic function. You see this is a negative uh, 233 degrees over... 1.5 seconds which is pretty fast uh, I think this is probably faster than they would actually be going and you see coming into this I had it almost at 4 G's because we are talking about an old-school B&M here this is is higher than I think even they would have gone sustained uh, for this amount of time but uh, what I discovered really helped with the snapping though was not only this quick roll here of negative 233 degrees for only one and a half seconds, but also using a quartic function to briefly increase the positive Gs. So it's been probably, it was over the summer the last time I wrote a Batman clone. So I don't remember off the top of my head if uh, it does increase the positive Gs. And if, uh, let's just ride up here real fast. And so if you're watching uh, vertical acceleration right here, you'll see that it definitely gets high, 5.1. Not it, It's not sustained. It's very brief. So that's certainly within the realm of possibility. However, I don't think that's what actually happens on a BNM uh, on the Batman clones. I don't think they go up to 5 Gs, but maybe they do. You can let me know. But it would be easy enough to modify this. I could just take this down to, say, going into it at about 3.5 Gs and push this up to just over four or so 4.2 maybe 4.5 i think that would be easy enough and you get pretty much the same effect so to me i mean i think i did what you needed but uh if that's not what you're looking for or if you think um i haven't done this accurately just let me know i'd definitely be interested in hearing um if i've not done it correctly and i'll give it another go uh, and as usual i'll include this graph in the download yada yada you can get that and also i threw in this silly little thing here i made i just called a knot let me take this one off so we can see this knot here i was just fooling around with quintic functions here if we take a quick ride on this whoops hold on a second got to go to the knot edit if we take a quick quick ride on this we kind of got like a cutback element which is really easy to do with a quintic function uh, Quintic double bump. Those are really useful functions. At some point in the future, I've got to get into those. We've got to start talking about those because it really allows you to sort of bank and unbank out of something very smoothly. Uh, and this I just did by accident. And I actually discovered in a, a previous video, and I mentioned this once before, uh, a really easy way to do a Cobra roll with a Quintic double bump function. So you see Quintic double bump right here. Uh, so we'll talk about that in a future video. Again, though, uh, if the wing over was not exactly what you were looking for, just let me know. If you think I did something wrong, let me know. I'd be happy to give it another go. Uh, but otherwise, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I will talk to you all next time. Take care and enjoy the ride.